Hello everybody, welcome back to Crypto Jet, where today we're going to be talking about fill or file coin. Now here's the idea. First, we do a quick rundown of the technicals and then we move and explain the project in a little bit more depth. If you like the way these videos are going, please leave a comment down below, like the video and subscribe to our channel. Ask me a question. Moving on, we have a support level down here around the $150 zone support why because first we saw the price bounce off of it consolidate right below before breaking through it uh still causing sort of a resistance right here at that point acting as a zone of resistance uh and in the future you can see it's in the past but in the future looking from this point you can see the coin actually uh bouncing off of it quite a few times uh that is twice in these sort of bigger corrections the first one was last week this one was this week with this uh file coin situation we had an all-time high run at uh, $238. This was on the 1st of April, 2021. April Fools, whatever. Uh, everyone thought the price was going to go up higher, but boom, it was actually April Fools. So selling pressure actually drove the coin back down. Now, why is this week so massive? Because the price went up and then people said, okay, well, I think it's time to take profits. People who are holding since here, people who are holding since here, People who are holding since here, everyone wanted to take profits, which drove the price down quite significantly, causing a even bigger sell-off and a dip into the $140, $150 range. Now, we have been ranging in the past few weeks. Uh, we can see simply that the coin does not want to move out of any of these zones, but we can see that uh, this zone of resistance is in fact a little bit stronger than this zone of support. Uh, judging by the amount of touches, however, judging by the length of the weeks, uh, this zone of support is actually quite a significant one because we can see that buyer's sentiment uh, is uh, bullish at this point, even though the price is going down because they're not letting it go down below $150, meaning that this coin is worth more than $150 for a lot of people, meaning that a lot of people will actually buy at one of these prices. Now, on the four-hour chart, we can see sort of a uh, beginning of a break of structure, of a change of trend, we can see two very nice bullish candles after uh, we're going to see what happens in the next few days. But judging by the daily chart, we can expect this coin fully to make a full break of structure, a change of trend and uh, begin uh, moving upwards again after this correction. Uh, we may find significant resistance around this $200 area, psychological and not psychological, but eventually it will be broken and the coin will soar to new all-time highs. On the other hand, if there is a scenario in which this coin breaks down below this strong level of support, the next level of support we can see is somewhere around this uh, area right here. So we can see a, a potential bounce from there before retracing into the trend, which is quite unlikely because of the sheer quality of this actual project. Now let's move on to the fundamentals. So moving on to Filecoin, the fundamentals are the most important with every project and we're going to take a look very soon. But first of all, the price is at $160 at the moment. You can see a few of the stats of the coin. You can see the chart that we have just covered and it is the 17th coin in the world, judging by market cap at the moment. So what exactly is Filecoin? They have this very interesting uh, sort of walkthrough through their whole project on their website but I'm not going to sit here waiting 10 minutes for the whole video to play through. I'm going to give you a quick two minute recap of what is going on. So basically the internet's future is developing because of web 3.0. If you've heard of this or not, take a look. It essentially empowers users to control their own data instead of having a centralized system to control it. This is where decentralized data driven projects such as Filecoin are actually crucial for the future. Filecoin works on a very simple basis. You, as a user on their system, can agree to rent out storage to other people on the network. The price paid in fill or the fill coin is determined simply by market demand and supply of data on the network. Now, if you want to buy the storage, you will see bids from different, uh, from a lot of different storage providers, and you can literally just choose the one that gives you the lowest price for the highest amount of data. And that's about it. So why is this so important? We are consuming over a trillion megabytes each day, becoming more and more dependent on this never ending digital resource. Data we create and consume needs to be secure, which is where one of the Filecoin's main selling points comes into play. Their IPFS, this is the Interplanetary 
file system. Basically, it allows users to store and verify each other's data in a very secure manner. Now, this coin was established in 2015 and offers a very safe alternative for storing files and uh, data by accessing extra storage uh, through the network on several different locations because it is decentralized. Through their immense security and efficient data processing system, they aim to provide services for individual as well as corporate entities. This is one of the biggest projects in the cryptocurrency world, simply because it focuses on one of the biggest things in the world, which is data. There will never be enough of data. We are still in the age of technology, starting with the dot-com bubble uh, back back uh, 20 years ago or so. Uh, this is the main era and their selling point is beautiful. So thank you guys for joining in for another video. Please ask me a question if you have one and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.